Good evening, everyone. My name is Luke Lawoney and I'm the chairperson of the Manawatu Youth Council. Um, we'd like to welcome you all here to the Young Achievers Awards um, tonight. Uh, just before we start, we would like to go over some brief housekeeping. Can we please have all phones off? Um, excuse me, there's a spider. Um, can we please have all phones off? This event is live streamed and photos will be available. You can see the live stream on our Facebook page, so after the event. There is a big two-page spread in the newspaper on Thursday, so watch out for all your beautiful faces in the paper. I'm sure you can cut them out and post it on the wall. In the case of a fire, can we please exit through the door that you came in and the door here on the right of the stage? and meet out on the front lawn of the Civic Centre, please. If you could all leave your masks on whilst, if you're out of your seats, um, it's okay to take them off if you're seated, as long as if you leave to go to the bathroom, which are in the foyer, um, or are lining up on the side if you're a student, if you could have your face mask on and socially distance, that would be great. However, if you are a student coming on stage, you can take it off for your photo. Um, this venue is smoke free, so that does include vaping, so if you could refrain from that, that would be awesome. Um, if there are any concerns, you can always shout out for the fire wardens and they will make themselves known to you. Uh, with all students coming up for awards, if you could line up on that side of the stage and when I call your name up to receive your award, collect your certificate and then you'll plant and stand on the yellow marker here for a photo and then you can go down. And with that, I'd like to introduce Her Worship the Mayor for a brief welcome. Thank you. Good evening and a very warm welcome to the 2021 Young Achievers Awards. The Manawatu District Youth Council, supported by the Manawatu District Council, are very proud to host this year's Manawatu Young Achievers Awards ceremony. And as we know, we live in really uncertain times. And uh, I just say congratulations to our, our youth councillors and everyone involved in tonight, because it is really important that even though there are restrictions, we find safe ways to still connect and still come together. It's really important for the well-being of our community and our young people that we have this opportunity to celebrate. This ceremony acknowledges students in the Manawatu district that have contributed positively to the community and demonstrated exceptional leadership amongst their peers. The, the selection category celebrates youth in our community who achieve greatness on many levels and also acknowledges youth in our district who contribute positively to their school and or the wider community. Schools were given the award categories and invited to nominate suitable students, highlighting their outstanding contribution in one or more of the categories. The theme for this year's awards is Bright Sparks. You are our bright sparks in our community. It's also November, it's fireworks. So it's a perfect theme for tonight. So well done to the team who put that one together. So tonight is the time for you as Bright Sparks to shine. Each recipient tonight will receive a certificate and a native tree which has been grown and supplied by the council's plant nursery. The trees tonight are kawakawas and the seeds have been taken from our local bush. So, our youth councillors will introduce each of the categories and will invite the award recipients to come forward. So let's get started. And normally we would have our sponsors and myself here to shake hands, but we know we're in restrictions, so please bear with us. It's no touch and contact, but we are here to celebrate, so enjoy. Hi everyone, I'm Zoe. Um, before we begin, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors tonight. Um, so our first group of four are the Fielding and Districts Youth Board, Ian McAlvey, Norwood, and the Fielding Rotary. And our second group are Atkins and Associates, Global HQ, Evolve Fitness, and PGG Wrightsons. So we're gonna begin with the Kia Kaha 
um, award category proudly sponsored by Fielding and District Youth Board. This award is for a young person who has made positive changes within their life, learning from their mistakes or overcoming adversity. This person may also have become an inspiration to others to make positive changes in their lives. So if your name is called, I'll get you to assemble on that side of the stage. Lillian Havala Loams, Taylor Lee Malasalia, and Annabelle Bulford. And we'll now hear from Her Worship Helen, who is speaking on behalf of our sponsor. Thank you. The Kia Kaha category is proudly sponsored by the Fielding and District Youth Board. The Fielding and District Youth Board is honoured to support this award as we understand the difficulties young people have in, the, in navigating to adulthood. It is our pleasure to acknowledge the recipients who have made positive changes that have benefited their growth and impacted positively on the lives of others. Lillian Havala Loams, Fielding High School. Lillian is an inspiration and fantastic example of what can be achieved if you push through challenges to achieve your goals. Transitioning to Fielding High School this year, while also being legally blind, has not stopped Lillian working through a full academic program and a huge contribution to wider school life. She actively promotes her disability but never allows it to limit her lifestyle. Taylor Lee Malasalia, Fielding High School. Taylor Lee has overcome a serious sporting injury to reinvent herself and find new ways to contribute to Fielding High School's extracurricular program. She is a fantastic role model for younger students in our Pacifica group with her leadership. Taylor Lee has proven that with determination and focus, much can be achieved. Annabelle Bulford, Linden Street School. Annabelle has positively involved herself in every school opportunity that comes her way. Moving into a new class this year, she has established new friendships and connections, overcoming challenges along the way, and developing the can-do attitude she displays consistently. Annabelle cannot be here today since she's on school camp, but we congratulate her all the same. So we'll now move on to Inspirational Leadership, proudly sponsored by Ian McKelvey. This award is for a young person who demonstrates leadership qualities and inspires others. A person who stands out as a role model with a positive attitude, recognises the value of all team members and acknowledges everyone's strengths. So again, if your name is read out, I'll get you to assemble on the side stage here. Geneva Beard, Georgia Burse, Luke Broadley, Anna War. Kirsten Sandbrook, Brooke Flower, Fionn White, Luca Luoni, Vernon Basin, Jada Cooey, Carter Pugh, Emily Williams, Lydia Ritchie, Mia Graham, Paige King, Georgia Giles, Libby Priest, Riley Transom, and Chelsea Callahan. Our inspirational leadership category is proudly sponsored by our MP, Ian McKelvey, and Ian's message tonight is, these awards were started almost 20 years ago to recognise young people of the Manawatu district, driven by the Mayor and Council and the Manawatu school principals, who may never win an academic prize, who may never make the top sports team, but who go over and above the norm to ensure that those around them are all the better for knowing the young person concerned. So all of you here today can be very proud of the fact that your peers or your teachers or both have recognised you as contributing in a special way to those around you, your school, your community or your sports team. One of the main tips you should take away out of today's awards is that you don't have to have the loudest voice or the fastest legs or the best academic performance to be a leader. You merely have to set an example and others will follow. Take your friends with you as you work your way through your lives. Congratulations to all award winners, to your parents, family and teachers, who you will remember for the rest of your lives. 
All the best to you all, and we hope that our country soon returns to some form of normality. Thank you. Geneva Beard, Bayonese Primary School. Geneva is a real see and do student. She uses her initiative and is a very positive leader. It is this positivity that she possesses which inspires her peers to follow in her footsteps and leads to a well-organised house group. Geneva is also a leader during kapahaka sessions where she takes the learning of waiata, te reo and tikanga very seriously. Georgia Burse, Bayonese Primary School. Georgia leads through actions rather than utilising a lot of words. She is a mature, responsible and trustworthy student that her peers look up to. Georgia's confidence levels have grown exponentially this year, mainly due to her role as a house leader. She will be a valued leader within our school again next year as a year eight. <laughs> Luke Broadley, Bayonese Primary School. Luke has really stepped up as a brilliant house leader this year. His organisational skills and ability to communicate in a reassuring and calm manner with his peers has been great to observe. Luke is a great all-round sportsman and has also been a leader in motivating others to practice sports skills in their breaks. <laughs> Anna War, Colleton School. Anna is head student at Colleton School and is an outstanding role model. She is kind, caring, empathetic, genuinely cares and looks out for others. Her ability to lead and inspire others comes naturally. She has developed excellent public speaking, leadership skills and fulfills her responsibilities with 200% commitment. <laughs> Kirsten Sandbrook, Colleton School. Kirsten is head student at Colleton School and lives and breathes Champs values. Kirsten displays commitment towards learning by asking questions and listening to feedback to further promote learning. An ambassador of Colleton School, Kirsten strives to be the best in everything. She is reliable, polite, trustworthy and is highly respected. <laughs> Brooke Flower, Fielding High School. Brooke has been an outstanding head girl of Fielding High School's hostel, LJ Wildhouse. Brooke, and it, Brooke is an exemplary student who quietly works in the background. She never seeks recognition or notoriety, but rather gets stuck in boots and all. Brooke sets high standards and is a fantastic role model for the junior students who she finds time to mentor and support. <laughs> Fionn White, Fielding High School. Fionn has displayed a real commitment to the leadership role as head girl of Fielding High School for 2021. She has co-led the school council with a quiet confidence and is very well respected by her peers. Fionn has a calmness about her that provides a fantastic basis for her future life. She was also a keynote speaker for the Anzac Dawn service this year. <laughs> Luca Luoni, Fielding High School. Luca epitomizes what is meant by an inspirational leader. As head boy of Fielding High School, Lucas has led the school council by example. He is extremely well respected by staff and the student body. Luca is also the chairperson of our Manawatu Youth Council, which is an esteemed position within our community. He is a reliable, positive, motivated and focused young man with a very bright future. <laughs> Vernon Basin, Fielding High School. Vernon has led the Fielding High School first 15 rugby team this year, has been selected for the NZ Secondary Schools rugby team, as well as being a hostel prefect in LJ Wildhouse, the school's hostel. He leads from the front and is the first to put his hand up to face any challenge. Junior students in particular enjoy his approach to life in school. <laughs> Jada Cooey, Halcombe School. Jada is a leader and role model of an excellent character. Her ability to lead and inspire others is something that comes naturally to Jada. She gets involved in all aspects of school life and always leads by example. Jada is mature, has an excellent attitude and maintains high standards in all areas. 
Her fun-loving, friendly personality means she relates well to people of all ages and is respected by everyone at our school. Hi everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm going to be reading the rest of the Inspirational Leadership Awards. Carter Poo, Kopeni School. Carter is a role model who the younger children look up to. He's a Manawatu rugby representative who shares his skills in Ripper Rugby in his lunch hour. He leads the way in training activities and is an all-round sportsman. Carter has shown leadership in music, drama, speech competition and has a lead role in the school production. Emily Williams, Lytton Street School. Emily isn't here today because she's on school camp, but we're still going to read out her citation. She's an outstanding leader at every opportunity, whether this be at the school, whether this be as a school leader, a big buddy, or in class support. She provides a role model to everybody that she interacts with. Lydia Ritchie, Lytton Street School. Lydia is one of those leaders who doesn't use a loud voice to command. She carries herself with a quiet, respectful manner and is diligent at ensuring her responsibilities are met to the best of her ability. Lydia can work with anyone to complete a challenge, is aware of their strengths and makes sure to use that to create cohesion within the groups she is part of. <laughs> Mia Graham, Lytton Street School. Mia is a wonderful role model in class, always respectful towards adults and students. Mia's work ethic is second to none, not satisfied with just good enough. She seeks and acts to improve with feedback. She works alongside her peers, supporting them to bring out their best results. Mia leads by example in the netball court and in kapahaka. <laughs> Paige King, Lytton Street School. Paige has grit. She doesn't let anyone get her down and works tirelessly to improve herself. She will do her best to encourage others to give new experiences a go and using a wacky, wacky sense of humour, she is able to stay positive in the face of unexpected challenges. Paige is a great example of sticking to her beliefs, not easily swayed by peer pressure. Georgia Giles, Mount Big School. Georgia has stood out as a leader for all eight years at our school. She's an excellent role model who is respectful to teachers and often gives extra responsibilities due to her natural leadership ability. Georgia is a thoughtful, caring person who takes care of others and selflessly gives her time to support anyone who needs it. <laughs> Libby Priest, Mount Big School. Libby is an amazing student who embodies all of our school values and gets involved in all opportunities that Mount Biggs has to offer. She regularly takes on extra responsibilities, often putting her hand up to do jobs for teachers or to support our junior students. Libby is an exceptional role model and really deserves this recognition for her effort. <laughs> Riley Transom, Mount Biggs School. Riley is an exceptional leader and role model at Mount Big School who exemplifies all the qualities that we hope our students will possess by the end of their time here at school. He takes great care of our younger students and does a great job leading activities for them during special events such as Mataraki, Kanui Tabloids and the Junior Athletics. <laughs> Chelsea Callaghan, Newbury School. Chelsea is a natural born leader. Her maturity, kindness and empathy, along with her initiative and organisation, means that leadership comes naturally to her. She's motivated and motivates those around her. Chelsea is our Deputy Head Girl for 2021, is a leader in our Year 7 and Year 8 Jump Jam team and part of our charity team. Chelsea has also been an integral part of promoting Newbury as a choice for intermediates. I'm Sadie and I'll be reading the awards for Change Innovator, proudly sponsored by Norwood. This award goes to a young person who is actively challenging others through innovative and imaginative ideas and leads change within their school community.
Can the people who I read out please stand by the stage over there? Emily Chittick and Zia Rogers. Our Change Innovator category is proudly sponsored by Norwood and their message is congratulations to our award winners and all other award winners this evening. Norwood is proud to support the Change Innovator Awards through their commitment to grow the future. For us this looks like investing in the next generation and supporting innovation and sustainable practices that contribute to the prosperous future for Aotearoa New Zealand. Keep your imagination and ideas flowing into the future. Emily Chittick, Ferdinand High School. As head of Ferdinand High School's Arts Committee, Emily has overseen and led a range of initiatives to engage students in the arts. She has promoted school events through the media team, as well as the annual art auction and pavement art competition. Emily is a talented artist herself and has worked tirelessly in her role this year. <laughs> Zia Rogers, Fielding High School. Zia is an incredibly talented stage performer and a driving force behind Fielding High School's theatre sports, running meetings and activities. Zia was selected for the National Shakespeare School production and uses their talents to help develop and encourage their fellow performers. Zia excels with their ability to transform into role and engage with the audience. Hi, I'm Caitlin and I'll be reading Giving Back, which is proudly sponsored by the Fielding Rotary Club. This award is for a young person who is actively involved in volunteering or community work. Could these recipients please come and stand to the side? Emily Redd, Erin Bennett, Jensen Alcock, Michaela Hosking, Amy Hager and Ronan McLaughlin. The Giving Back category is proudly sponsored by the Rotary Club of Fielding. The Rotary Club of Fielding are very pleased to be able to sponsor the Giving Back Award to recognise the efforts of young people in our community. Service above self is the motto of Rotary International and this is exampled by our members giving back to the community in many different ways. So it is fitting that such service by young people is encouraged and recognised our congratulations to the well-deserved recipients. Emily Wren, Fielding High School. Emily, as head of the school community committee, was responsible for organising an incredibly successful Shape for a Cure event that raised $25,000, placing the school second in New Zealand. She also led the 40-hour famine event, raising $6,000. The school was recognised with a national award from World Vision, largely due to Emily's leadership, drive, determination and empathy. Erin <laughs> Bennett, Fielding High School. Erin has been an invaluable member of the Fielding High School netball umpiring squad. Umpiring for the primary, intermediate as well as the secondary schools competitions. She has been rewarded for her efforts with the Centre Badge, which is a fantastic effort for a junior student. Erin has also continued to play netball for the school. <laughs> Jensen Alcock, Fielding High School. Jensen is an extremely capable, determined young man who is also look, always looking to use his talents to benefit others. After completing a successful fundraising drive for Schaefer Acure, he went on to run a phenomenal 132 kilometres over 24 hours to raise money for leukaemia and blood cancer. This was an ex exceptional feat for someone his age. <laughs> Michaela Hosking, Fielding High School. Michaela has displayed a consistent commitment to supporting the needs of others, both in school and in our local community. Leading the Environment Committee, she has worked to develop a new recycling initiative at school. Michaela has also been a great role model as leader within the Giving Back program while working towards her Duke of Edinburgh Gold Award.
Amy Hager, Newbury, Sco Newbury School. Amy has a kind and generous personality. She looks out for others and thinks of others before herself. Amy enthusiastically leads our school charity team, which serves our local and wider community. Amy has supported all the members of the charity team to lead and organise their events, as well as overseeing and organising the day-to-day -day running of the charity team. Ronan McLaughlin, Newbury School. Ronan is the Newbury School Technology Team Leader and gives his own time to support classes with the technology they use for their learning, supporting teachers and school leaders with the technical aspects of assemblies and other events in our school. He has tech crew for the school production and helped with the lighting at the Regent Theatre. Nothing is too much trouble for Ronan and is always eager to help. And it looks like Rogan, Ronan isn't here with us today. Thank you. Cultural Champion, proudly sponsored by Atkins and Associates Limited. This award is for a young person who promotes a positive understanding of cultural diversity within their school community. Cultural diversity is about promoting the understanding that differences, viewpoints and culture are to be cherished and appreciated rather than judged in fear. Can the nominees please stand over there when I read out your name? Masisi Palele, Priestley Paraku, Sienna Cooper, Zanaira Uzma, Leo Webb, and Khan Walker. Our cultural champion category is proudly sponsored by Atkins and Associates. A massive congratulations to the cultural champion recipients. To have the understanding of cultural diversity shows incredible acceptance and empathy. To positively promote cultural diversity is a great achievement and shows strength within the individual. Those awarded cultural champions this evening not only appreciate the differences within our community, but also promote empathy, strength and acceptance. These life skills are fundamental to achieving your personal success. Well done. Mosisi Palele, Fielding High School. Mosisi brings him, with him cultural flair, passion and a strong sense of values which he applies to all that he does. He has a quiet presence and a humble nature, always leading by example. Morsisi has been an enthusiastic house leader, a talented first 11 rugby player, and a key leader of our Pacifica group. In 2022, Morsisi will be head boy of Fielding High School. <clears throat> Priestley Paraku, Fielding High School. Priestley is proud of her cultural heritage and has been actively involved in both our Kapahaka group, Te Rauhuia, and our Pacifica group. She never seeks the limelight, but rather leads with passion on stage. She is very humble about her achievements. Priestley works very well with younger students and has also coached a junior netball team this year. Sienna Cooper, Halcombe School. Sienna is caring and compassionate, embracing all in her school community. She is gentle and considered in her actions and in the words she uses when interacting with others. Sienna is intuitive as well, and the understanding of the differences that make us all unique. Sienna is a senior member of our school, Kapahaka Ropu, leading by example and with mana. Zanaira Uzma, Lytton Street School. Zanaira proudly embraces her own culture, but she also values cultural differences and actively strives to learn, understand, and connect these cultures to her own. She wears culture with pride and has a willingness to teach and educate others even when they do not understand. She happily volunteers for cultural activities, kapahaka, Te Pai Tapu and integrate, integrates Māori tikanga into her own culture and beliefs. <laughs> Leo Webb, Mount Big School. 
Leo is the lead kaya for our school kapahaka and has been an exceptional leader for our school, particularly when learning a new haka. He did not hesitate to put himself in front of the whole school and teach the actions to all our students. Leo is a fantastic role model who shows a real passion and commitment to te ao Māori. <laughs> Khan Walker, Newbury School. Khan is the leader of the Newbury School Cultural Leadership Team. He is one of our school leaders for Poor Fido, Poor Fido, oh, Poor Fide. Good, good spelling. <laughs> Doing the five forty doors to welcome visitors. Khan shows passion and motivation in kapahaka, in class leading of Tadeo Māori, and regularly, regu regularly plans and leads school waiata. Khan is receiving this award for a second year in a row. We will now have the 110% effort, proudly sponsored by Global HQ. This award is for a young person who has demonstrated outstanding effort exceeding expectations. Can we please have lining up? Brooklyn Edwards, Caden Gloin, Raymond Stambra, Gracie Carthew Wall, Logan Cox, Taylor Fleming, Caitlin Cleary, Megan Sc Meg Scully Arnott, Zach Filer, Jordan Bottom, Meg Beth McMinimum, Collins Pucky, Liam Burgess, Robbie Jameson, Bryce Curry, Isabella Scanlon, Sky Edwards, Michelle Mitchell Newton, sorry, Riley Sash, Elliot Sharp, and Kate Astwood O'Keefe. Our 110% effort category is proudly sponsored by Global HQ. The team at Global HQ here in Fielding and around the country are proud to sponsor this local award. We acknowledge the 110% effort everyone is putting in during this pandemic. It seems as though everything we do these days has just got a little bit harder. So thank goodness for all you good people who show leadership, keep positive and are prepared to try harder work harder and do more. Congratulations to all our young leaders and thank you. Thank you from all of us for, you, for inspiring us with your 110% effort. Brooklyn Edwards, Bayonese Primary School. Brooklyn's academic year is certainly one to be celebrated. She began the year with goals around making great academic gains, particularly in mathematics. She has achieved these goals through a lot of hard work and being diligent in class. Brooklyn is set to do well at college due to the intrinsic motivation she now possesses. <laughs> Caden Gloin, Bayonese Primary School. Caden is in his final year at Bayonese Primary School and through his hard work and perseverance, he has made it a very successful one. Caden's pride Pride in his presentation, ability to solve maths problems quickly and correctly, as well as the effort that he exerts, have all improved. Caden is also a talented athlete, winning our school cross country by training hard and remaining determined. <laughs> Raymond Stambra, Bayonese Primary School. Raymond has had an excellent year of accelerated academic progress. This has been due to a huge growth in his motivational levels and is a really positive attitude towards his learning. Raymond's efforts in the classroom have also transferred into more effort outside of it as well. Raymond will continue to be a great model for his younger peers at our school next year. <laughs> Gracie Carthew War, Collison School. Gracie is a fun-loving, charismatic, and gets involved in all aspects of school life. She is an all-rounder and is not afraid to take a tackle on the rugby field. Gracie realises the importance of diligence towards learning and in doing so has developed a growth mindset towards learning. <laughs> Logan Cox, Collison School. 
Logan is so highly motivated to be the best he can be, no matter what learning activity he is involved in. He focuses on all areas of the curriculum and reflects honestly to further improve his learning. He encourages and teaches younger students, demonstrating care and patience in whole school activities. Taylor Fleming, Collison School. Taylor is an organised, motivated and reliable student. She is heavily involved in extracurricular activities, including netball, horse riding and dancing. Taylor isn't afraid to try anything. She is the girl that gets things done. Her positive mindset enables her to absorb information and persevere when the going gets tough. Caitlin Cleary, Fielding High School. Caitlin is a mature, self-disciplined and very determined young woman who wholeheartedly commits to challenges. She has been the chairperson of Fielding High School's fundraising committee and an active member of the school council. Caitlin excels on the hockey turf as well as and is a well-respected referee at local, regional and national levels. She always aims high to ensure she reaches her full potential. Meg Scully Arnott, Fielding High School. Meg is an exceptional role model for her peers. She participates fully in all class activities and on the sports field, where she was named the best and fairest in the Fielding High School girls' second 11 hockey team as a year nine student. Meg has competed at Manawatu Inter-Secondary School Athletics, Rural Games Clash of Colleges, Netball and Hockey. Zach Filer, Fielding High School. Zach fully embraces every aspect of school life. He approaches all of his activities with focus, determination and giving his all. Zach is an extremely keen musician, involved in both chamber music and the rock band. He is a talented pianist, playing, at the, playing the national anthem for school. Zach has also represented Fielding High School at chess regionals, rural games, cricket and rugby. Jordan Bolton, Halcom School. Jordan is completely focused on achieving excellent results in all areas. He maintains very high standards and continually looks for ways to improve. Jordan has many interests and shows passion and enthusiasm for everything he does. His outgoing personality and fantastic sense of humour make Jordan an outstanding role model. Beth McMinimum. Beth is a diligent and conscientious student with a passion for literacy and the arts. She immerses herself in a variety of, of activities at school, most recently playing the lead role in our school production. Beth has a kind, caring and considerate nature. Her work ethic is outstanding and she is an excellent role model, often supporting her peers to achieve their goals. Collins Pucky, Lydon Street School. Collins walks through the school gates with a sense of motivation and drive every day. She gives everything she undertakes 110%. This ranges from sport to culture and academics. Collins has overcome challenges and achieved new feats, all in a day's work and with a smile. Unfortunately, Collins cannot be here today as she is on school camp. Liam Burgers, Lydon Street School. Liam is a diligent, determined and hardworking young man. He has been part of the winning EPRO 8 group and regularly reflects on his learning to identify his next steps. He enjoys the challenge and his creativity shines when it comes to problem solving. Liam really does give 110% at any chance he gets. <laughs> Robbie Jamison, Lydon Street School. Robbie is a quiet, conscientious and responsible young man who is happy to give everything a go consistently pushing himself to improve. He is a keen sports person competing in rugby, motocross, and is known for filling in for other sports teams if needed. Robbie sets a great example for others and is an excellent role model. <laughs> Bryce Curry, Mount Big School. 
Bryce is an outstanding leader at our school, known for his strengths in all areas of physical education and his exceptional manner with younger students. In addition to this, he is an extremely hard worker who always tries his best. Bryce gives everything a go and never gives up. And that looks like Bryce isn't with us tonight. Isabella Scanlon, Mount Big School. Bella is an extremely conscientious student with an amazing work ethic. She works incredibly hard to achieve her goals and puts an additional effort at home to ensure she is successful. Bella stands out as a positive role model at our school and her tenacity is very inspiring. <laughs> Sky Edwards, Mount Big School. Sky has a very positive attitude towards learning and works tenaciously to achieve her goals. She always gives 110% effort to her schoolwork and persists in challenging situations, displaying her can-do attitude. Sky is an excellent role model and leader in our school who takes great care for our younger students. <laughs> Mitchell Newton, Newbury School. Mitchell works hard with his learning, leading to great achievement at a higher level. He manages his time well and ensures he comes to the workshops he needs on time and prepared. Mitchell takes on board feedback and follows through with suggestions to help his learning. Mitchell is very supportive of other learners and is always willing to help others when they are stuck. <laughs> Riley Sash, Newbury School. Riley works hard with his learning, leading to great progress. He manages his time well and ensures he comes to the workshops he needs to go to on time and prepared. Riley takes on board feedback and follows through with suggestions given to help with him with his learning. Riley managed his learning incredibly well during lockdown, attending all Zooms and working super hard. <laughs> Elliot Sharp, Sanson School. Elliot has frequently displayed the maturity one would hope to see from a year eight student. He has a great deal of self-confidence and always contributes to group and class discussions. His work efforts are consistently high, resulting in a competent level of understanding and success. In PE, he takes on a leadership role where he displays a strong sense of fair play. <laughs> Kate Aswood O'Keefe, Sanson School. Kate is a very resilient and capable student. She is an excellent class leader and has been a positive role model for other students, displaying self-control, confidence and resilience required to do what is asked of her. Kate is supportive of others, displaying a strong sense of fair play. She loves a challenge, especially in maths, and always gives 110% effort in all academic and sporting activities. Thank you. Beyond the School Gate, proudly sponsored by Evolve HQ. This award is to recognise a student who excels in activities or interests outside of school in their own time. And our message tonight from the sponsor Evolve HQ for Beyond the School Gate category. All of us at the Team Evolve Fitness want to congratulate those who will be receiving a Beyond the School Gate Award tonight. Being recognised for excelling in activities outside of school and in your own time shows great character and commitment. Both these traits will allow you to go far and succeed in whatever you set your mind to. Evolve Fitness believes if you enjoy what you do and you are passionate about it, all obstacles will be overcome and your goals will be achieved. Keep up the excellent work and we look forward to hearing more about your success in the future. Can the following students please come to the left hand side of the stage? Emma Woodman, Georgia Simpson, Sophie Leone, Zara Slatter, Lily Dawson, Vincent Veltman, Emily Gillard, Van Sherwell.
Emma Woodman, Fielding High School. This year, Emma was selected for the under-19 Manawatu softball team, received her centre badge for netball umpiring and has excelled in athletics. Emma broke the school discus record this year and went on to place first in the Manawatu Secondary School Championships and 7th at the North Island Championships. Her sporting future is very bright, especially considering Emma is only year 10. <laughs> Georgia Simpson, Fielding High School. Georgia exceeds in both track and road cycling. Recognised as Cyclist of the Year at the Manawatu Bike Awards, she has also been named in the New Zealand Junior Road Team. Georgia placed fifth in the Under-17 at the New Zealand Road Cycling Championships and has broken six Manawatu and two West Coast North Island records. She is a committed and dedicated athlete. <laughs> Sophie Leone, Fielding High School. Sophie shows incredible talent on stage as a dancer. Her training and performance workload has been and continues to be significant. She has been rewarded for her commitment with a position at the prestigious Brent Street Performing Arts School in Sydney, Australia for 2022. Sophie superbly manages to balance life as both an all-round academic student as well as an amazing dancer. <laughs> Zara Slatter. Fielding High School. Zara is an extremely talented young gymnast who has produced some outstanding performances at the World's Gymnastic or at the Women's Gymnastic Nationals, where she was crowned New Zealand Bar Champion and finished third on the beam in her competition. She is well liked by her peers and is supportive of others. Zara approaches every activity at school and beyond with a smile on her face. <laughs> Lily Dawson, Halcom School. Lily has a passion for gymnastics and has been a member of the Manawatu Gymnastics Club for seven years. She spends an immense amount of time training, more than 16 hours per week. She competes in competitions all around the country and is a role model for younger gymnasts. Lily also uses her skills and knowledge to support her peers in gymnastic lessons at school. <laughs> Vincent Beltman, Copney School. Vincent is a member of the Manawatu Under-13 Hockey Representative Squad. He is a regular on the Intercross Motor Tri in the Interclub Motor Trials, continually approving his results. The interest in motorbikes has led him to restoring a BSA Batman motorbike with his father. Vincent won the Te Kawa Year 8 Cross Country in Bayanese. Vincent also volunteers his time assisting an elderly neighbour. Emily Gillard, Lydon Street School. Emily competes in regional gymnastic competitions. She has worked extremely hard, enduring hours of conditioning and training to reach step four. Even when it is tough, Emily keeps pushing to achieve outstanding results. Van Sherwell, Lydon Street School. Van is a keen motocross rider. He trains rigorously and competes in races and competitions on a regular basis. Van spends nearly every week in training and racing and in his previous grade was consistently on the pro podium. He also travelled to Rotorua to present, represent his school. His attitude towards motocross is one of hard work, determination and resilience. He will be one to watch for future successes. And Nisha Brightwell of Mount Big School, she can't be here tonight but her citation reads that she's extremely passionate about dance and spends a lot of time outside of school practicing for her various shows and competitions. She demonstrates a high level of discipline and commitment when preparing for her performances, working hard to perfect her moves. One example of her leadership was when her dance teacher was unwell, Nisha led two junior dance classes. We will now have the Kaitiaki Award, proudly sponsored by PGG Wrightson. This award is to recognise a young person who has a passion for agriculture and implementation of environmentally sustainable practices in their daily, li daily lives. This student understands the value of their stewardship for our environment and how this contributes to best practice in New Zealand. Can we please have Blake McEwen? 
Finn McDonald, Tim Dixon, Lockie Hawker, and Cassidy Griggs. Our Kiaiti Taki uh, Award tonight is proudly sponsored by PGG Wrightsons. PGG Wrightsons are proud to support the Manawatu Youth Council as a sponsor for tonight's Young Achievers Awards. Our congratulations go to all the winners of this award and to all the other successful achievers. Blake McEwen, Fielding High School. Blake is working with staff to develop a new predator control program to protect local wildlife on the school farms at Fielding High School. He is a very keen agricultural student with a strong practical skill set and makes the most of his learning opportunities in agriculture. Blake contributes on both farms as well as checking the traps every morning. <laughs> Finn McDonald, Fielding High School. Finn has been a valuable volunteer farm assistant on the Fielding High School farms for the past two years. Finn has an interest in agriculture and construction and enjoys contributing wherever he can to ensure the smooth running of the farms, especially in the weekends. He is incredibly reliable and has a tremendous work ethic. <laughs> Tim Dixon, Fielding High School. Tim has proven himself to be an enthusiastic and willing helper of the Fielding High School farms. He is keen and committed to developing his agricultural skill set, including as a sheriff. Tim is always reliable and has shown a real willingness to get involved with whatever jobs need doing. <laughs> Lockie Hawker, Halcom School. Lockie is passionate about all aspects of farming and has an extensive knowledge of farm life. He has excellent practice, practical skills and regularly helps out on the family farm, with everything from drafting to sharing to stock work. He has raised many pet lambs, feeds 100 calves each morning, and always has a story to tell about his latest farming adventures. <laughs> Cassidy Griggs, Newbury School. Cassidy has proven herself to be a responsible and dedicated leader of our school Enviro team this year. Cassidy has a keen interest in all things to do with the environment and she willingly gives up her own time to work in our school gardens. We will now present the Manawatu Youth Council Exceptional Leadership Award. Now this award is brand new this year and is sponsored by the Youth Council. Um, I'd like to ask our Deputy Chair to come out and present this award. Now this is very secretive. I don't actually know the winner until I open this envelope. So it's a bit like the Oscars. So here we go. Students nominated by their school for the Inspirational Leadership Award category were included in the judging for the Exceptional Leadership Trophy. Youth Council members scored each nominee individually in five categories based on the citations supplied by their school. The scoring identified the following core items within the Inspirational Leadership category. Leadership qualities, examples of being a role model, caring for others, being a team member and participation within the school. We understand it would be difficult to cover all these aspects within 60 words. However, the citations definitely reflected the high caliber of leadership we have in our schools within the Manawatu. Tonight, we are pleased to announce the first recipient of the Manawatu Youth Council Exceptional Leadership Trophy for 2021 is Carter Pugh of Kopeni School. Congratulations. <laughs>
Well, that wraps up our Young Achievers Awards ceremony tonight, but I'd just like to finish with a few words. Thank you for all coming, um, despite some interruptions with the current alert levels and the situation that we are at with regards to how many people can be here. We appreciate your cooperation and making the most of it for the wonderful students who have won things tonight. Um, it really does show the immense commitment that this um, region has and the, just, the, just how high the calibre of students um, are. Um, also, on that note, we are hiring or receiving applications for next year's Manawatu Youth Council. Now you can find out about this application process on our Facebook page and these are due by the 26th of November. So if any of you guys out there are in between the age groups of 13 to 26 um, and are interested in something like this, it's really great for CVs and it gives you a heck of a lot of experience. Um, so have a look on our Facebook page and if you want, apply. We look forward to possibly having some of you on board. Um, yeah, can we just have another round of applause for our um, awardees? Thank you and enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs>